Hi right, guys, hope you're well. Um, we are going to be going through um, a very brief lesson today, I think. Um, it's a new Eddie Vedder track called Cartography. Um, it is from um, Return to Mount Kennedy, which is a documentary um, about Robert F. Kennedy, uh, which Ed has obviously um, done the done the full film score for. Um, and um, yeah, this popped up on my Instagram feed, and I thought, oh, nice, I'll have a listen to that. It's just instrumental, it's only got about kind of three parts, two, two to three parts at a push, um, but it's really lovely, so um, I just tabbed it all out, chucked that over at Patreon, and uh, I thought I'd do a quick lesson for it, so let's crack on and have a little go at it, shall we? I'll play through the first like couple of bits, and then um, I'll break them down for you. It's not terribly difficult, um, but it is in drop D. So you're going to need to detune your E string down two frets or two half steps or one step, however you prefer to think about that. So the first section goes like this. Repeats around. Now there's lots of very, very subtle variation in this, so um, I have tabbed all of that out actually, but I'm just going to show you the main parts. The first part um, is basically um, fretting the fifth fret and the seventh fret on the A and D string, and then you're going to play. As per tab, right? You're going up and down. Um, and then the second phrase is all right so that slowly is okay so that is five seven five open G Seven five. Then you're going to slide the same shape down to the second fret. And that next shape is um, like a part of a C. So um, that's just third fret on the um, A, second fret on the D. And you let that ring out, okay? Now, um, the second and the third time, identical, but the last um, bar is subtly different. You're gonna start to put in this. All right, so let me play through the, um, the second time. So that's the second time around, right? And you'll hear, I don't know if it's like I'm just catching another string, but I hear that. So three notes on the second fret on the G string. And two on the um, third fret on the A. But with this. So you're gonna play a double stop there, right, which is the second fret on the D and the G, and then pull off. And then you go around again, okay? And then the next time it just plays, which is. Like that, just as per tap, right? Right, 
and then coming out of that you're going to play this. That's it, okay? Now the next section is pretty straightforward. Um, it's basically like a, a D sus2 shape. Uh, but you're playing it on the fifth fret um, and then you're gonna bring your third finger into play on the seventh fret on the D string, okay? Um, and then there's this shape as well. And uh, then I think it's just the D. So that goes like this. back round okay so slowly you're gonna play this and you're gonna change position and go down, down to this chord it's part of a G chord basically so there's a little hammer on there so that again really quiet that bit and then it just plays that round again it's subtly different the second time I'll play the variation for you which is go back to that first riff and I think there's a, another variation which is right and then it ends with that all that stuff so there you have it there's not loads to this there's just some noodly little bits I, th I love playing around it it sounds um, a little bit kind of Pink Floydian places actually to me anyway um, but lovely for a um, for a soundtrack so I'm quite looking forward to, uh, to hearing the whole thing anyway that's it so, see you soon. Cheers, bye-bye.